Hello and welcome everybody to another Flight Sim Fan video. We're here today again in the Rasmam AB8B Night Attack 2 Harrier. Uh, we're aboard the Tarawa once again in not the best of weather, but today I thought uh, we won't do any flying but kind of get the basic down of control mapping because I get a lot of questions of what um, buttons I need and sorts. Right off the bat, you're going to need a HOTAS system, so something like a Thrustmaster Warthog, uh, X56, X55, X52, something like that. That'll work for you. Uh, it's quite a few, not as many as the A10, but it's just quite a little bit. And so I thought we'd get started. So basically, first thing I'm going to do is open up the controls with Escape to go to Adjust Controls. Let me close the cockpit, actually, to make this the canopy. Make it quieter. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to your access assign area, so all your commands. So you have, I have my nozzle angle on the slider of the Warthog, so I can control it with my slider. It makes it a lot easier. I like it a lot better. Uh, I then you have pitch and roll, so joy Y, joy X, and I have a 11% curve on both of these. Uh, next, you want to have your rudder. So if you have rudder pedals, put it on your rudder pedals. If you don't, uh, either keyboard uh, or whatever works for you, rudder-wise. Uh, wheel brake left and right. Now there actually isn't any left and right brakes. You, there's no differential braking, but they let you map both of them, so I put both of them there. Your thrust lever, so uh, with the Warthog I have two throttles, but I just mapped one of them, obviously. And uh, zoom if you want zoom, and uh, whatever else you have here. Quick note, because I got a lot of things about this as well. The slew right now for the tar for not the tar well actually the Mavericks targeting pod, any camera, you cannot slew with the axis right now that that doesn't work you have to have it to a button right now so we'll get into that later so first thing is axis axes uh, that's the first thing to get rid uh, to check off the list so nozzle angle is a good one to have if you have a slider for it and then all your flight controls pitch roll yaw everything like that next we'll go to back to the category here we're going to scroll down to hotas and you don't need every, you don't need everything here but there's quite a few you're going to need so you're going to want uh, air to air gun, which I have on my throttle, my coolie hat down. That's what it is for me. And I'm not telling you to map it to what I have, I'm just saying what I have it as. So, coolie hat down for me on the throttle of the Warthog throttle. I have the Thrustmaster Warthog, is the gun arm. Uh, coolie hat up for me is Sidewinder Boresight. Then I have target, uh, basically, nose with steering button, target undesignate FOV. That is my paddle on the joystick. I have the air brake toggle you can do on off. I have the toggle and it's just my air brake aft button. So I click it to go on, click it to go off. Very simple. Bomb pickle bomb pickle switch, uh, the big red button on the joystick. That's kind of easy, the one that stands out the most. Uh, although I have mine set actually to my CMS down button for the reason being my pickle switch doesn't work. But you're going to want it to say button 2 I think it is. Mine says button 19 but don't worry about that. Uh, cage uncaged. This is for the Mavericks. Most actually, it's actually for everything. So if you want to turn, let's say your GB12 either from CCIP to RP, cage uncaged will do that. Mavericks will turn on the camera, that sort of thing. This is my so just left of the coolie hat on the Thrustmaster Warthog. You have a slew button or the slew axis. If you click that in, that's what that button is. The little slew button. You click that in. It's button one for the throttle. That's what I have it as. Uh, CMS or not CMS? Sorry, chaff and flare is my TMS and uh, aft and forward. So TMS being the uh, just below the pickle switch on the Thrustmaster Warthog. Then I have sensor select. Uh, this is basically all my CMS button I believe. Let me just check. Yeah, so CMS aft is pushing towards me. Uh, just don't get confused with aft and down. Those are two different things. This is physically pushing a button down and aft is push, uh, pulling it towards you type type of motion. So I have aft on the CMS, forward, right, and left. And then to push mine down, because obviously I already said that I have my CMS dedicated to the weapon release when I push it down, I have it to my index finger. Well, that's actually different, but I have it to my uh, mic switch on the throttle. If I click that inwards it'll do that for me I'm, uh, you don't have to map as I said what I'm mapping I'm just saying everything you need so so far you need air to, uh, air to, it's like it's good to have air to air gun uh, air to air sidewinder bore sight you need nose steering 
you need air brake, one type of air brake control, you need bomb release, you need cage and cage, you need chaff and flare, and you need all the sensor select buttons so far. Uh, next, you're going to need all the TDC buttons, except for this is what I'm kind of confused for, so I don't have this one actually mapped because this is TDC action slash no action toggle, so that covers the action portion, I believe. So I don't have this one mapped. But you're going to need all the TDC. Now, TDC, except for, the, except for this one and this one, are used to slew around the cameras mostly, so if I wanted to change what I see in the targeting pod, let's say, I'll use my TDC left to make the camera go left, right to go right, up to go up, the, or forward, as they say. So forward, left, and right, and then no action, action, toggle. Next one is throttle cutoff. I have this button as well. This is a good one to have um, on your throttle somewhere. What I did is when you physically lift up, look, I'll show you here. So my, my throttle right now is in the idle, like I can have free range of motion with the throttle with the, in the Warthog. If I lift them up and bring them over the detent to cut off, that's why that's where I get joy button 9 from. It doesn't have to be that for you, you can have anything, you can have any button dedicated to it, but you, you're going to want to have a cut off button, it's good to have for startup, because there's nowhere to click it in the cockpit. Next, gun trigger, simply just make it to your trigger. And that does gun, sidewinders, and sidearms, which are very important to have, by the way. Uh, last but not least, um, and I'm probably going to map this last one actually right now, later maybe, uh, trim is, is good to have. So if you want to trim the layer print left, right, nose up, nose down, that's there. And then waypoint increment, I'm probably going to map this. I don't know what I'm going to put it to just yet. Um, you know what, I think I put it there, maybe. All right. I just put it to my speed break forward button. That's just temporary. I'm probably going to change it, but it's good to have this one so you can change waypoints without clicking them. Next, I'm just trying to think. You're going to want uh, parking brake. You're going to want that. So just type parking brake or park. And then uh, you get off and, off, off and on. You're going to want that because currently right now, if you have the parking brake set on on a moving carrier, you instantly roll off the deck. Don't ask me why. So as soon as you spawn on a moving carrier, turn off the parking brake immediately. And it's kind of hard to get to, so it's good to have it um, on a button. And it's hard to get to even if you're not sliding off to your doom. Uh, it's it's just hard anyway, so it's just it's good to have it on a button. Let's see what else I have here. Uh, helmet, I have my uh, NVGs, so it's left shift N. Obviously, I don't want to take my hand off the throttle, so I'll just have it to my boat switch aft button. This can be anything for you, but it activates the visor, which I don't use, and it activates the night vision, which is very good to have. Let's see what else I have. Uh, parking brake, as I said. I have flaps, so uh, using the flap handle, I have flaps, cruise, auto, stall, so that I have it, um, the flaps going in the down position, and then stall, auto, cruise, because it's going, stall, auto, cruise is going from the very bottom to the very top, and then cruise, auto, stall is going from the very top of the flap range to the very bottom. So I have my flap set, and you can have that set as you want. Let's see what else I have set here. Probably have things, I have my air refueling probe set, so I don't have to hit the switch. I have that set. Uh, it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much everything you need. So we'll go over it again in very briefly. So all the accesses you want, all the flight control wise, uh, TDC, left, right, forward, aft, and toggle, uh, the action slash no action. All the sensor select ones, uh, parking brakes good to have, throttle cutoffs good to have, refueling booms good to have, night visions good to have, pickle bomb, uh, tr your trigger for your guns, trims good to have, and countermeasures. So I probably missed something in there, but if, if I did, you could just go back through the, the video I, or the part I just spoke about earlier, <laughs> like a minute ago, and just look at all the lists I put together on the on the control. I can't speak, but um, you could just pause the video and look for them. <laughs> But I did cover everything, I believe, and I'm trying to mash as many buttons as possible and see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything for control-wise. It's not too bad. Um, if you obviously do not have a 
uh, Hotas is going to make it a little hard, and if you're playing in VR, I've heard it's a bit frustrating because there's a lot of clicking involved on the actual screens. There's no actual, you just can't use Hotas for the screens. Um, some things you can uh, add is anti collision lights. You can have lights if you want to map those. Uh, so, just there's tons of things in here, but I just gave you the, the things you're going to need to fly it, operate it uh, with the, to the best of the ability uh, that I've found out so far. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the AVAP, and I'll see you guys in the next video.